What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. So today we are we're gonna go check out a desolate freighter because I want to get some tainted metal. I want to do the things. I want to do the stuff. Um, hopefully you all are having an absolutely fantastic day. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's go on into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Now I need ferrite dust because I need to make projectile ammunition. Uh, before we go but this is actually like the perfect time because we just got our new multi-tool we just got it upgraded we just got the things going so uh we could actually go and check out our uh check out our upgrades see how they hold up you know what i mean so let's see first thing i want to do is there are some things that i need to okay let's move oxygen let's move a stack of oxygen into the starship um, I need to get a thing of chromatic metal in the starship as well, because these are the two things used. This one's used for uh, launch thrusters. This one's used for warp. And uh, let's see, gold and silver. Let's see, gold and silver are used for pulse drive. So we need to get those going. I think that's kind of all we need for now. And then I'm thinking we're just gonna quick transfer some of this stuff to the freighter. And then we will uh we'll get things like organized and moved later but for now i just don't need all this stuff and we're gonna get a bunch of stuff when we go and do the freighter stuff so that's gonna be super amazing hopefully you guys enjoy it, like i said uh okay so let's let me get this stuff transferred over real quick and then i gotta go pick up ferret dust and then we gotta get pick up the uh the thing for the desolate freighter itself um but yeah okay probably good to keep carbon condensed carbon Pugnium, I don't need that. A hydrogen, I don't need that right now. More diet, nope. Uh, this I could sell. That was thrown in the freighter. This will throw in the freighter. All right, we're looking good. We got things kind of organized up. Let's go ahead. Let's go grab the stuff that we're gonna need. I want to check out this little freighter. It's been a long time. And with the whole tainted metal thing, now there's a couple things you can do with tainted metal. It appears uh, you can buy the stuff from the scrap, uh, the scrap trader. Where the heck is this station at? or you can actually refine it into nanites and i believe it's a one to two ratio so like one uh, tainted metal is two or one tainted metal is two nanites so if you got a hundred tainted metal that'd be 200 nanites um now i don't know how much we get for doing this stuff i don't know yet so we're gonna find out but i mean if we got like you know a thousand tainted metal we got two thousand nanites like that's a big deal that is a huge deal but we gotta go do this first um actually shoot what i should do is i should go sell my activated indium first to get some uh some money in here you know what we can pick up uh we can pick up this guys well i don't want to pick it up yet because i don't know if it's going to be in this system specifically but let's see purchase old scrap so you can see we got tainted metal we got a whole bunch of tainted metal 3200 tainted metal for this horrific flesh helmet thing is disgusting it just doesn't even sound good <laughs> it doesn't even sound good so i mean i guess once you bought like all the collectibles here then uh then you'd be good i don't know i don't know okay uh, let me go sell my activated indium first and then we'll get that going all right activated indium let's sell that 65 million heck yes that's good puts us back over the 100 million mark i like it i like it now let's go ahead and buy ferrite dust 913 that's it Oh, you guys are like broke. This is awful. I'm not going to have like hardly any ammunition. <laughs> I'm not going to have hardly any. Uh, can I craft more? Okay, 6250. You know what? Let's get let's just get a full stack if I can. All right, 99999. Nine, nine, nine. I like it. Perfect. All right. Let's go to let's go to a different system. Because if I get the salvage thing here, like I just feel like it's not going to be worth it. You know what? Let me go grab more ferrite dust. Hold on. All right, we got plenty of ferrite dust. We will be good now. I went to a, I went to a, uh, a richer system. <laughs> These guys had like 5,000 ferrite dust in each one. Okay. Hello there, good sir. I need some coordinates. Would you assist me in this? Okay, emergency broadcast receiver. Uh, broadcast receiver to use it. Locate the receiver in your inventory. Tune the signal with E. Now, I believe we have to be in. I believe we have to actually be in space for this to work. So let's see here. All right. Uh, this guy. Tune signal. All right. Uh, activate the pulse drive to begin the tuning process. 
Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, I did it right when it came out. Hey, there you are. I did this right when it came out. And uh, I think they've actually changed some things since then. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we got going on here. Shall we? Um, oh, I land up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Initiate landing sequence. Oh, I am so excited. I'm so excited for this. Now, I'm really hoping that I didn't need stuff uh, to get this done. Oh, I like how they have four pads here. So you can do this in, uh, in a group if you wanted to. Okay, uh, pull splitter. Let's go ahead and recharge that. All right, it is cold. Oh, shoot. I forgot. There's environmental stuff here. Okay, activate the door. So there's like toxins and stuff like that. Uh, activate capsule. Oh, it gives me some sodium. Oh, so it gives me it gives me the stuff that I need to, to recharge my stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, now, I believe we have to uh, docking bay door control. Uh, server incident, total lockdown, no life crews connect, uh, detected, crew manifest, captain's log, may assist in diagnosis. Now, the crew manifest and captain's log, those are the two things that you turn in to get tainted metal. Um, access doors have been automatically sealed with internal system. Restart internal gravity. Uh, internal gravity, calibration error, freedom of movement reduced, internal environment protection is offline. Attempt manual generator restart, restart hazard control, it's not going to work. Restart unable to restore primary heat controls protection against extreme cold temperatures required. Emergency fabrication unit available. Uh, access supply cache. Uh, collect emergency supplies. Additional supplies can be collected within the airlock. Override the door. All right, looking good. Now, I don't know if I have... Oh gosh, I don't have. I don't think I. I don't have. Uh, oh yes, I do. I have a little bit. Oh, no, that's just general hazard protection. Ooh. I should have got a uh, cold suit protection deals. Defense turret. Okay, let's take this guy out. Hey, 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 hey! Let's not. Let's. Oh, I didn't heal myself first. Shoot. Okay. All right. Looking good. Uh, we need to activate these heaters right here because that'll that'll allow us to uh, to heat ourselves. Okay. Yes, I'm aware. I know how to do this. All right. Let's take out this defense turret. She gone. Heating unit. Activate that. Perfect. Okay. Now. Uh, depressurized capsule, living slime. There's a log. Partial cargo manifest follows. Cryo pump 560, uh, ancient bullion six, high capacity vector compressor 960, uh, mucus sample 77. Okay, cool, cool. Now we activate those because some of them are going to give us, um, like a, uh, like some kind of like key card access and things like that so we can actually continue our mission. I don't know what I got from that. Nanites, heck yes. I will take those. All right. All right, get that guy. Let's go ahead and activate this heater right here. Depressurize that capsule. Open up this guy. Now, if you uh, if we open up our visor, actually, is it just C? It'll highlight all the storage cargo things that we can access. Um, so if there's like a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of stuff like a whole bunch of containers and stuff like that that we can open. You can use that to highlight to make sure you actually got all of them. Uh, Captain's eyes only pre-flight crew appraisal name. Shift Gek Savit. Uh, General Hand. Empathy. Okay, I don't really care about that stuff. Addendum. Personal notes. Uh, overly curious about mission destination. What do they suspect? Okay, so something going on. Rare item found. Security credentials. See? Okay, so we got security credentials. That means we can use those to unlock something else. Can I activate that? No, I cannot. Okay. Now, there are two different doors here. Let's get this crate open. Hey, we got some tainted metal. Okay. That's the whole reason we're here. Uh, let's open up this door. 
Okay, so we got some living sack stuff like that in that door. Let's go check this door. What we got here? Okay. Now, some of these doors... I don't know the symbols. Some of these doors lead to the next layer, and some of these doors just lead to another area within the same level. So let's grab this stuff. Uh, ship AI log, decrypted location tracking report, partner, gank, amu, internal security, bio scans, last detected three days ago, private cargo bay, five, zero, other present, biometric readout, indicates severe burns, no further life signs. Okay, let's see. What do we got in here? Heating unit. Nice, nice. Uh, nanites. Awesome, awesome. There's a chair. Guys, there's a chair. I know. Uh, we already got this. Okay, let's move on to the next one, shall we? I don't think there's any other containers in here that we can access. All right, so... These sacks right here release these little guys. So we're going to have to take out these little guys. These little buggers. You know, I'm almost thinking the scatter blaster might have been the, the option to go here. A nice shotgun module would be would probably be pretty handy. Okay, hold on. Do we have any heaters in here? Okay, I want to grab that. Living slime. Living slime. Are there no more heaters in here? All right, hold on. Oh, there's a heater right there. Oh my gosh, I was right next to one. Okay, let's activate this guy. Let's get heated up. <laughs> I can't see anything, it's so cold. Oh, there's another little dude up there. Get out of here. Perfect. All right, so we're heated up a little bit. Let's go ahead and break this one open. Basically get rid of all these little dudes. Man, this thing just blasts through all of the ammo. Hey, 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 get out of here. Hey, you, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> They're kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it would be kind of fun to have like a little pet one. Now, if I'm not mistaken, everybody was telling me that living slime can actually be uh, refined down to nanites as well. So once we get through this, we'll uh, we'll kind of go through everything that we got and see if we get uh, see if we can get nanites from living slime because I mean, there's just it's literally just chilling on the floor. Okay, let's see. Let's get this log. Uh, anything good here? I'm just gonna kind of skip through these. Now there's a little bit of a story with it, but I'm uh, I'm mainly here for for the goods. You know, we are what we are. We're we're essentially just <laughs> kind of legal pirates, I guess, if you will. We were sent here for a mission, but you can bet that we're gonna try to bank off of it. Let's get this heater activated. Um, okay, so let me do a quick scan. So we've got salvageable material here. We got one over there. Okay, so it looks like that's where you get your tainted metal from. And it looks like we're getting a decent amount. Uh, so you're, you're, we're kind of getting nanites or tainted metal. That's, that's kind of nice. All right, we got another sack over here. Let's break this guy open. Be gone, you little jerks. I'm just saying they are kind of cute. Like, come on. They're kind of cute. A little bit. They're like cute in an ugly way, you know? <laughs> All right, log. Da, 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 da. Okay, looking good. Grabbing everything that we can. Because you got to keep in mind, we did spend 5 million credits or units just to get these coordinates. So I definitely want to make it worth it, you know? Oh, also, all these capsules floating around here. There are sodium and oxygen and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't grab this guy. Okay, looking good. Yeah, so sodium. That is to recharge your hazard protection. Oxygen. I really should have got a um, 
after this, we're definitely going to get a uh, a better cold protection, thermal protection one. Because if I'm not mistaken, every one I've ever done before, they're always uh, they're always cold inside. All right, we got to get through here. Get this heating unit going. Uh, ooh, we got straight up units that time. Okay, uh, yeah, that's cool. I guess <laughs> it cost me five million to get in here, but uh, I guess six thousand back is is better than nothing. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for in here, minus the sodium and stuff. But I really don't need that much sodium. Oh, we gotta go activate the teleport. They even activate that guy. So as you progress, you unlock teleports, so you can teleport back to the uh, the top or to this floor if you so choose. Basically, it's like a quick way back and forth if, if you need to. Uh-huh. Access crew manifest. Crew status as of last shipwide scan five days ago. Uh, a couple, couple people. Crew able 33, ordinary 63. Update bio scan. There's gonna be zero life forms. Or one. There's gonna be one if you count me. Oh, there's not. Okay. Oh, none match the uh, the record. All right. Retrieving the last known uh, positions, restricted area. Fantastic. Now I think that also. Crew manifest. All right. Copy the official crew manifest for this freighter. This document would be highly valuable valuable to those concerned with the fate of this missing ship. So that is one thing that you can turn in to get tainted metal. I do believe. Reactivate uh, teleport terminal. Nice, nice. Let's heat up and then let's move on to the next layer. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken either, I think they're completely random as to how big of the freighter is so sometimes i think i did one it was really short like it was only like two floors and then i did another one that was like that was like a ton of floors it was like it was like five or six or something like that if i'm not mistaken all right we gotta get these these t grasping tendrils off these doors in order to open them all right so we got that guy do we have a heater it's like the first thing i need to find Heater, heater, heater. Where's a heater? I don't actually see one. All right, you know what? Let's open up this guy. All right, I gotta, I gotta charge up my thermal protection because it's, uh, it's getting real low. Where you at, little buds? I hear it, but... Oh, hey, there you are. Little guy. Oh, he's so cute. All right, those ones are gone. Okay, so let's activate this thing right here real quick. Whilst we're here. Uh, Deceased. We're going to say that the captain's deceased. Captain's fate as extinguished. A duty officer may take command. Uh, log in as watch officer. Ides? Ides? Accepted. Welcome, watch officer. Log will record you as temporary commander. Uh, read captain's log. Uh, date stamp. We threw the mech priest out of the airlock. It improved all our moves just like we hoped. What the heck? Sounds awful. There'll be music the voice told us. It filled our hearts, our minds. Uh, we listened to the voice once more after a month of silence. It finally told us what to do. If only you could hear it, the sound of the airlock opening and shutting, opening and shutting. Oh, that sounds terrible. We step out into the void ourselves now. I do not know who will be next. 28 bodies now dance frozen in the solar winds. Only I am left. It's been so long since the voice spoke to me. It's been so long. So basically they went crazy. Sounds like they kind of went a little crazy uh, and spaced everybody. Or they all decided that they should space each other. <laughs> Sounds terrible. And uh, yeah, there was a, eventually only one person left. We really need to get a heater. I need to, I need to find a heater. Okay, let's see this log real quick. Uh, location tracking report for Drudge Engineering. Personal boss scan 10 days ago. Boss scan control 28 others present. Biometric. Readout indicates a dramatic fluid loss. No further life signs. You know, it's funny. It's just no further life signs. And it's like, well, then what the heck are all these things? 
Oh, oh, we got a heater right here. Okay, let's heat up and let's let's take out this this sack. Hey, that's a little jellyfish. Okay, let's see. Those are all gone. I think we got all the uh, the little the baddies knocked out. But there's a lot of cabinets in here that we can search for stuff. So uh, leave. Yep, I don't. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're here for the goods. So all of these cabinets are searchable. Every one of them. And some of these rooms are massive and completely full of all of this stuff. And this is when it's handy to scan because it'll say it'll show that like there's a chest right here that you can act access. But then the little marker will go away once it's uh, once it's gone. I think those are actually upside down, so I can't do anything those unfortunately oh no it says i can okay all right let's see so we've already activated all those okay we got this guy over here all right is there any other ones in here okay so there's all the initial ones okay looks like we did missed a couple we missed this one miss this guy over here So what are we at tainted metal wise? We're at 249. So that means if we scrapped it, we'd get about 500, uh, 500 neonites. So not bad, not bad. All right, I think that's pretty much it for this area. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Now, I don't think there's any other doors, so we should be going through here. Zones mapped, six of nine, heck yes. Uh, let's turn this heater on. And we're going to start taking out these guys. Heck yes. Let's do it. All right. Well, made short work of them. <laughs> now for all the living slime. I'm actually kind of curious what is like how much the living slime is going to break down to in nanites as well. All right, we got another log. Let's get rid of this guy. Da, 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 da. Abnormally high internal temperature. No further life signs. Okay. Can't break that one. Should be able to search. Search this guy. All right, we'll grab that. Break all of these things. I don't see any more heaters. Oh, yeah, there's one over here in the corner. All right, let's go. Next one. Uh, how big of a room is this? Oh, it's not that big. Okay. All right, we got this. We got this. I'll clear this room out and then we'll we'll press on and see what's next. Uh, seven of nine. Man, we're almost to the end. I think this is like, we got that room. Oh wow, this is gonna have a whole bunch of guys. I gotta say, this thing, standing next to it, is an extremely creepy sound. It is a very, very creepy sound, and I don't like it at all. Okay, I think we are... Last room. Oh, yes, we are here. Okay. Let's get the heating unit on. Now, I'm pretty sure this actually goes outside. Yeah, that uh, that goes straight into space. That's why it's so, that's why it's so cold here. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's knock this out. Now, there's nothing... No baddies in here. So I think we're just going to explore this room a little bit. All right, so we got this one. This should give us the last little piece that we need. Now, so we can fabricate a technology upgrade. We can fabricate a freighter bul uh, bulkhead, or we can extract nanites. Now, what I want to do is I'm actually going to probably fabricate a freighter bulkhead because that's going to give me another freighter slot. Or I could just extract nanites and get nanites out of it. And then a technology upgrade. Um, I want to say the technology. Up I can't remember, honestly, what the technology upgrades are for. To be 100%. I can't remember. Let me let me see. Hold on a second. Okay, so the technology upgrade gives you, um, gives you S-class upgrades for your freighter. So... It could be, uh, it could like ex expand your uh, your hyperdrive range, things like that. 
Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Do I just want to get nanites? Do I want to get a bulkhead? Do I want to get technology upgrade? I don't really foresee me wanting technology upgrades right away. I think we're gonna get bulkheads so we can get uh, maximum storage slots. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Let's get a let's get a bulkhead so we can get maximum storage slots. That will give me a cargo bulkhead. Heck yes, fantastic. And then we can go ahead and activate this teleporter, and then let's get heated up, and then let's check everything in here to make sure we don't miss out on any of this. Uh, Tainted metally goodness. Unstable container. That would probably explode if I'm not mistaken. Oh, larval cores. Storm crystals. Interesting. Bunch of other uh like randomy stuff. Let's check this guy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so I think I got all the containers. That's the last one. Uh, read that PDA thing, read that PDA thing. They just give you some nanites and stuff. So, I mean, they're they're good to read since you're already here. And I think that is, that's everything in this room. That's the Desolate Freighter. Let's roll. Let's get out of here. Um, oh, look at it. Claim supplies. Repair kits. Uh, and fairy dust. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know those were in there. <gasps> oh, darn. Okay, where did that take me? Where am I? Oh, okay, my ship's over here. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go see what we get out of this stuff. Hold on, let me activate this heater. And then we're gonna walk out here and get our ship and we're gonna get out of here and see what kind of goodies we got. Now, these things aren't worth a whole lot. We got 462 tainted metal. We got 2,800 living slime. Uh, That'll be handy. We got some storm crystals. Those are worth money. That's fine. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, offload the crew manifest. Find interested buyers on the space station. Where's our space station at here? All right, let's go do this. Let's make it happen. Okay, so that looks like there's two places that we could offload this data to. Data, data. The guild uh, envoy, envoy, or the scrap dealer. Now, I think the scrap dealer gives us tainted metal. And I'm going to say that the, uh, the guild gives us reputation so i think i'm just gonna go with the scrap dealer though because i i think i think the scrap dealer uh cell crew manifest official record yes look at all that tainted metal Ooh, buddy okay sell captain's log uh oh my gosh a whole bunch of tainted metal okay anything else Acquire units, uh, acquire coordinates, 10 million units this time. Uh, but now, wait, what are you selling? Um, uh, places, source, places exist. They can be revealed for a price. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why that's even an option. Purchase soul scrap. So I have, um, how much tainted metal do I have? It doesn't say actually how much I have. Um, but I could buy stuff if I wanted to. But honestly, how much tainted metal did we get? We have 1219. So that right there would be 2400 nanites, if I'm not mistaken. So like if I go into here and I go into here and I put tainted metal in here. 2438 nanites. Mmm. That is good. That is a good amount. Um, okay, so let's see. That's 2438 nanites. I honestly feel like that's the best option we got because the other option used to be, uh, wait, where are the, is it still in here? Okay. Well, let's put that back on our exit too. Uh, the other option that we used to do is that you would buy, you would buy uh, black market blueprints and then you would sell those. So you get these suspicious packages, uh, goods, technology, weaponry, whatever. And they would have black market upgrades and you would sell those to the corresponding vendor over here and they'd give you anywhere from like 100 to two 300 nanites but you could do it infinitely because it only required pugnium not tainted metal so let's we're gonna do uh yeah we're gonna refine this tainted metal into nanites but i actually want to do the living slime too and see what this turns into because this turns into recycled waste materials and then I think it eventually, I think eventually it cycles down into nanites. So let's just do that. Oh gosh, that takes forever. Stop processing. Uh, we're going to do that at a base. We're, we're going to go back to our base and do that. Actually, you know what? While we're here, before we leave, let's offload all the extra stuff that we got. 
all the random cogs and bits and bobs and springs and stuff like that that we just don't need so like these high capacity vector compressor or whatever we don't need those corvex conversion cubes we'll actually use that and give that to a corvex guy uh so we can increase our rank viking effigy gek nip gek relic nip nip buds yeah those are all things that we can give to increase rep and right now i need to increase rep quad servo don't need that um enormous metal cog yeah i don't need those <laughs> i probably don't need the repair kit either to be completely honest i'm just gonna sell it i don't need it okay so that's all we got that actually wasn't that wasn't a whole lot that wasn't worth a whole lot so before we leave actually i'm gonna go up here i'm gonna try to give these guys uh some stuff to increase my rep oh i can't give you a corvax casing wait what what the heck is the Device used by the Corvax for storage of historical and cultural information. Hmm, maybe I should keep that. Plugged in a bit, harvested, often used to produce Gek Nip. So Viking and Gek Relic. Okay, do we have Viking or Gek over here? Hey, it's a traveler! Hey, there's a Viking. What's up, dude? I got something for you. There you go, Viking Effigy. Yay! Standing increased. All right, we need a Gek now, too. No Gek? Okay, we're back at the base. I couldn't find any more people to, to trade to. <laughs> so that's fine. Let's get some uh, let's get some things refined over here. Large refiner. I am gonna put in Runaway Mold. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do uh where's that? Where's the, the living slime? Wait, where's my living slime? Oh, you know what? It's in uh, it's in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, well, that's going. That's going to take forever. My gosh. Okay, let's just get the tainted metal in our backpack. How long is that going to take? Seven minutes? Heck yeah. We can let that do its thing. Ooh, okay. So we got 2438 nanites from that. Now, I don't know how many nanites I got from the random, like, nanite gifted stuff. But I'm going to try to keep track of how much we're converting into nanites so we can have a, a rough idea of what we got this time. All right, there's our first uh, set of nanite clusters. 2438, put that in the exosuit. Heck yeah, let's actually get this guy charged back up so we can throw some more stuff in there. Uh, this is taking forever. This is taking absolutely forever to do. It's taking 20 minutes to process this. It's crazy. It's a one for one. Um, let's actually see, hold on. I wanna see what what the, what the converts next. What What's the next deal? Runaway mold into nanite clusters. Okay, so it's a five for one. Oh, that's not bad. So essentially, essentially living slime is a five for one ratio because it goes down from one to one, uh, and then it goes to a five to one. So that's not bad either. That's not bad either. Cause I have what, uh, 873 in here. And then we have about, let's just say 2000 so 2873 let's say 2875 just for uh for rounding purposes that's another 575 nanites now they may need to process them but still that's actually pretty good so 575 plus the um that's what would we get we got 24 the 2438 so we got 3000 nanites from doing that mission that's not bad and i mean it only costs us like okay it costs like five mil um, but that's because I think it's once a day. I think it resets. It depends on like how many you do a day. So I think tomorrow it'll probably be cheaper. I wonder if it's a different system. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and check that out. Um, let's just go ahead and let that do its thing. And we'll leave this. We'll come back. Let's go to a different system and let's see if it's the same price or if you can go to a different system and have it be cheaper. Okay, so previous system was there um let's not go to a struggling one let's go to one that's like uh affluent yeah let's go there and let's see how much it is maybe it's the same price maybe not okay so we're here i'm not gonna lie <laughs> being able to hear the refiner going while, while it's on my back is kind of annoying <laughs> but i mean i guess what do you expect right um now yeah okay so it's 10 it's 10 million again okay so uh i think it resets once a day it goes back to five so it's five ten but I mean, 5 million units into 3,000 nanites is not a bad conversion. It's actually really good. I think it is. But 10 million to 3,000, that's actually not that bad either. Because even if you scrap ships, scrapping ships, um, depending on the ship class, you get anywhere from, 
what, 500 to 1,000, but then you get a little bit back out of it, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know the way that I, I prefer to do this because scrapping is probably faster. Scrapping ships is probably faster, but the desolate freighters might be more fun. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know. All right, so since we just did the desolate freighter thing and we just got the uh, the goods to upgrade our, our freighter, let's go ahead and let's actually do that. Uh, because like I said, this is a freighter. I'm going to hold on to this one probably forever. I'm probably never going to get another one, honestly. I don't really care that it's not an S-Class. Like, I mean, yeah, oh my gosh, it's not an S-Class, but at the same time, it's exactly what I want looks-wise. Um, it's got a good storage on it. And I just, I don't know. I just don't see the, maybe, maybe eventually one day when we're like completely done with the game and we have nothing else to do, then maybe we'll go and S class it up. But I just don't see the need to right now. Uh, what are we at? Nanites wise, 5,383. Hmm. We need a better way to farm nanites. I really miss the whole pugnium, pugnium thing. That was, that was super nice. Okay. So upgrade console, add additional storage. Uh, expandable bulkhead. Heck yeah. Freighter size increased. Now, how many more do we need? Oh, it looks like we could go quite a bit. So I could do, hmm. Looks like we could probably do 14. We could probably do 14 more. I don't know if it'll work in technology or not. I don't know if it works as technology, but we could do 14 more desolate freighters in order to get our max freighter capacity. And then, like I said, tech technology, I don't, would you stop? Technology, I don't know if we can expand it that way. I just, I honestly have no idea. So leave a comment below. Let me know. Can you expand the uh, the technology for that? Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. And then let's see, where's the upgrade tree for the freighter? Is it in here? Uh, purchase upgrades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So these, I need salvaged frigate modules. Uh, oh, and that actually requires a quad servo. What is that? Material combustor, temporary frigate upgrade. See, I'm not going to really mess with the temporary frigate upgrades. I kind of want to get the uh, the freighter upgrades first and then probably mess with those. But that is going to be a separate thing that we have to go out and farm. We'll have to become a pirate for that. Oh, it's fun becoming a pirate. It is. It really is. But I think the, um, I think the next thing I really want to do in order to do that, because we upgraded our suit in our multi-tool. We can handle stuff. We can do some things. Uh, and that actually reminds me, I need to get a, um, I need to get a cold deal as well. Um, but we need to get our living ship upgraded. We need to get more, we need to get better upgrades for this guy because I'd really like to get some for the spewing vents to, uh, to do more damage and stuff. So we'll have to focus on that. But I think that is going to be the next thing we do so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more and leave a comment below how are you guys getting nanites now duplication glitches aside please please duplication glitches aside if i wanted to dupe the stuff i could dupe it i know i understand but is there a legit way within the game that everybody's farming nanites now as far as legit i mean like you're just using a system in the game so like the scrap mechanic the scrap trader that was a mechanic in the game yes it was like exploiting you know kind of a a little bit of a glitch it wasn't really a glitch it was just exploiting a way to do it um how are you how are you guys all getting nanites right now because i'm curious that was three thousand but that took me probably uh that took me about an hour to do so hmm, i don't know let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.